So we're going to continue on the learn typography by building a nutrition label on FreeCodeCamp and we're on step 51 now. So we need to create another divider after your last P element um, and because lazy programmer I'm just going to copy and paste and that should pass the test. There we go. So step 52 after your last divider create a new P element um, and actually again I'm going to copy and paste that down and this is now cholesterol. Uh, oops. And that's zero mg. Um, there we go. And we ought to actually take off this i here, I think. So cholesterol um, zero mg at zero percent. Um, so we want to wrap the cholesterol in a span tag like so, span, and give that a class attribute uh, equal to bold. Okay, then we want to wrap the 0% and let's use that as 0, there we go, 0% in another span element and the class will be bold, bold right. And that's the closing span on the other side. And there we go, that's how it looks. Perfect. So step 53, below your last P element, create another P element with the text. Um, so again, I'm gonna copy and paste that, and I hope a lot of it is the same. Um, so this is now sodium 160 mg 7%. Like so, 7%, I think it's the same, let's have a look, yeah, perfect. So step 54, add another P element, um, like before, so I'm actually going to copy and paste that again, um, and this is total hydrate, this is, oops, uh, 37 grams and 13% like so let's check that perfect so step 55 blow your last P element and another P element with and then create a divider so for this one I think we want something similar to this, um, so let's just do bring that over. We don't. Do we want to indent it? Give the p element the necessary class to indent it, removing the dividing border. So yeah, indent no divider. Uh, dietary fiber or ER, um, four grams. We don't want it italicized, I guess. So dietary fiber, four grams. And then we want a divider below that. So we can reuse this class here, this HTML element. And yeah, that passes. So step 56, as you can see, our HTML is getting a little bit messy. Um, that would have reset it, I guess. Yeah, normally you'd obviously have a format changes oh i wonder if i can format document mm, okay no i'm not sure that's <laughs> that's any better but anyhow uh, let's create another p element after last divider total sugars the class values indent and remove the border so this is total sugars 12 grams um so i'm just gonna grab all of that again and this is total and we wanted that to be 12 grams, like so, perfect, and 57, so an advantage to creating these dividers that you can apply a specific class to style them individually, um, add a DBL indent to the class um, for your last divider, so let's do that. 
And then finally, well, 58, create the dot double indent and give it a margin of 2m, which is twice as much as our single m value um, divider. Uh, sorry, that's rem, so it's m instead as the unit. There we go. And step 59, below your double indent element, add a new p tag. So includes 10 grams of sugar. So I'm just going to grab this one, like so, and get the text. So it should be double indented, have no bottom border, and use a span to make the 20% bold and write a line. And then we want another. So what I'm going to do is just paste that in. So bold, I think. Um, so double indented, no bottom border. So we want double indent, but no divider. So let's try that. And you can see now we're reusing classes um, that we've got here. Um, use a span to make 20% bold and right aligned. So actually, I think that bold can come off. And then we want to put a span around this 20%, like so. Oops. And this should be class equals bold and right. There we go. Let's just check that. No. Uh, ah, sorry, we need to create a divider um, below that as well. So let's just try again. No. Your new P element should have a class attribute set to double intent. Oh, sorry. There's a spam tag here, but that should be on the P element. So there we go. And that looks a lot better. Okay, so finally, step 60. After your last divider, create another P element with the text protein three grams. And we want to remove the border bottom or the bottom border, add a span to make protein bold create a large divider so we want I'm going to grab that all from before this is just protein and where is it three grams and we want to um, span around the protein to make it bold don't know if we need that just yet, but spam like so. And class will be equal to bold, uh, the string bold. So that's what it looks like. I think that's okay. Let's just double check. Uh, no. Um, Oh, maybe we do want a no divider for that one. So P class equals no divider. Oh, sorry, yeah, it's the... Oh, hold on. Divider uh, LG. Uh, hmm. No, that's my fault. That is this, the P divider LG is on this one. Let's just test that, there we go. So that is the divider below protein. Um, so yeah, so that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.